Welcome back to another episode of What Should I Get Pierced? My name is Scott Wilkinson. I'm a professional body piercer, and I have been since 1994. Now, on the show, we're going to take a look at six different people. We look at their faces. We look at their ears. I'd tell you what are good possibilities for new piercings, and ultimately, what I think would look best. Now, before we get started, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Up first, we have Maddie. Now, Maddie has three visible piercings here. We have a septum, a medusa, and a nostril piercing. And what an epic choice of jewelry. These look fantastic together. I love that triangle clicker on the front and the medusa. It just, it works perfectly. Now, what would we add to this? Well, I think some sort of lower lip piercing, I think, would work well, whether it's an Ashley piercing. You see an Ashley would work just beautifully there. I could also see inner snake bites not quite dolphin bites but the inner snake bites would look really good and then also we need to complete the look with the other nostril piercing so it's a fully symmetrical piercing and another possibility if you didn't want to balance it out with the nostril would be a monroe piercing so you can see a monroe piercing kind of off to the side here might look really nice if it was a smaller one you'd have to keep the medusa a little bit larger with a smaller one off to the side for this to work now, another possibility would be a bridge piercing. Sometimes bridges can leave big scars, so if that's a concern, you wanna be careful. But it looks like you have the right anatomy for a bridge piercing there. And as far as my ultimate picks, definitely the Ashley and the other nostril. Let's take a look at Maddie's here. Now, Maddie has two lobe piercings now. You can see those right here with no jewelry in there. They still look open, so I'm sure she wears jewelry. But what else would we add? Tragus piercing. The tragus protrudes perfectly, so a tragus would look really nice. You could get a doth piercing in there. You could also do a couple helix piercings. There's room for one, two, three maybe even four piercings. Once you start getting into this area, they're kind of tough to heal, but I think the upper piercings would look really, really good. And then of course we have the conch piercing. Conch allows you to have a nice big cluster. We could do a nice cute little gem in there. The options are pretty endless, including a ring once you're healed all the way up. And last options I'm gonna say here would be even just a couple more lobe piercings. If we have the one here, one here, adding a couple more up the ear like so, just looks really, really nice. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I'm going to go with the tragus piercing and two more lobe piercings. And up next, we have Julia. Now, Julie has a nostril piercing and a septum piercing here. First thing I'm going to say, the other nostril piercing. You got to do the balance so you have the trifecta. It's just... I just love that look. And of course you can like do the asymmetrical look if you wanted to, where if you did a second nostril and balance it out with maybe some spider bites on one side or even just a single lip piercing on the one side, they still balance out really, really nicely. Um, could also see vertical labrette. See how vertical labrette fits in perfectly. And also Dahlia piercings. I could see dolly piercings. Cute little studs right on the corner there. Jerry has that natural little smile there, adding a little more. Adorable. Another fun option here would be high nostril piercings. As long as the glasses don't fall down too much, but high nostril piercings on her would look great. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, the other nostril piercing and the vertical labrette. Now let's take a look at Julia's ear. Oh, it looks like this picture got splashed a little bit with some purple paint or something, but uh, what would we do to decorate? The rook looks fantastic. I could see a rook piercing here. I could also see a doth piercing. Definitely a tragus piercing. And that anti-tragus seems to just be screaming at me as well. Love to do an anti-tragus piercing. Conch would work really well for a single or a double. In this case, I would probably go with the double. 
And of course, we have helix piercings. It looks like there's not a huge ridge right here, but we could definitely fit a couple helixes going down there. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I would definitely go with the Tragus and the Anti-Tragus and a single helix. And up next, we have Kayla. Now, Kayla doesn't have any visible piercings, and with the glasses, it kind of limits, kind of you can't have the bridge or high nostrils, but that does leave room for the septum, which I love so much. Having a nice little tight septum ring in there, super cute. Now, also, we could do a vertical labret. I definitely see a vertical labret. And other possibilities, nostril piercing. Totally see a nostril piercing, especially with a ring when it is all healed up. And if you did the nostril piercing, you can kind of balance things out with a lip piercing off to the other side. And then eyebrow piercings, right where that curve kind of comes in. I can see an eyebrow piercing up there. You know what? I see a double eyebrow piercing. And there's also mantis piercings. We could do a couple at the tip of her nose couple small cute little studs right up in there see how that looks just adorable and as far as my final picks I would love to do a septum piercing as well as a vertical labret all right let's take a look at her ear now don't really see any visible piercings and the ear is very very flat in this area which I love, sometimes I love the super curvy areas because there's a lot of ridges to pierce, but with something like this, you can put those studs wherever you want in any sort of combination. What I mean by that is we could do a central flat piercing like so. We could also do a kind of a triangle shape if we wanted to go that route. We could kind of follow the anti-helix and do triple going down that way. We could do a couple helix piercings on the outside edge rim of the ear like so. There's a great possibility for an industrial. With no ridge here in the middle, we have the bar going across, bead on both sides. And that being said, there's a nice big ridge up here where we could do a vertical industrial too. I wouldn't necessarily do both of them at the same time, you'd never sleep again, but one of those would be really, really epic. We also have the possibility of doing a conch piercing, maybe a lobe piercing, or even a larger gauge lobe piercing where it puts a nice little plug in there. And of course, the tragus. Tragus would be super, super cute. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, the industrial, conch, and a lobe. And up next, we have Moya. Now, Moya has a septum piercing, the nostril piercing, and he also mentioned he has his tongue web pierced, that little flap of skin underneath your tongue. Super fun piercing if you want to keep it hidden and not show anyone. But what would we add to this? Um, now, with the facial hair structure, there's a lot of fun things you can do. I think uh, snake bites always look really, really good, especially with facial hair that doesn't grow right in that spot. Um, we could also do a other nostril piercing to kind of match things up, having another ring over there. I could also see an eyebrow piercing. So do the eyebrow piercing kind of a little further out like so, pointing in towards the corner of the eye. And also a bridge piercing. Nice prominent ridge, so the bridge would look just great up there. Um, another fun option I would say would be to possibly stretch your septum. Getting a larger solid ring in there might be kind of fun. And the last option I want to give here is going to be inner eyebrow piercings. Now as you can see, just little vertical ones kind of pointing in towards the eye like so would be super, super fun. Let's try getting those a little bit more symmetrical so you get a better idea. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's a really different look. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, the nostril and the snake bites. 
All right, now moving on to his ear. Now his ear already has the start of a stretch plug, unless you fool me and got a fakie plug in there, but keep on going. It's looking really, really cool. Now we could also add another piercing up here and possibly start stretching that. Having the dual stretch plugs, really, really fun look, especially when it's bigger and then the slightly smaller ones up. Now other piercings, doth piercing. I could also see a rook piercing. And definitely a snug. Now normally snugs aren't that thin and tight, which means way less tissue to actually heal up. So we could do either a double snug. I know I'm asking a lot, but they look cool. Or you could do that single snug right in the middle like so. Super, super cool piercing. Now another fun option here is we could do like a faux snug, which means doing a conch piercing and the helix straight through so the little bead would be on the kind of the back of the ear where it still looks like a snug piercing, but you're healing two separate ones. Kind of a fun thing. And if you get the placement right, sometimes you might even be able to put a ring in there, kind of creating the orbital going around. Not real likely, but it's possible if it's lined up properly. And another super fun option here, of course, is the anti-helix. You can see there's plenty of room for one, two, or even three. It just kind of follows the curve, kind of the flow of the ear. And for my final pick, I'm gonna go with the double snug and a second lobe. And up next, we have Mars. Now, Mars mentioned that they're working on a piercing apprenticeship, so uh, good luck on that. We always need more good piercers. Now, there's already plenty of piercings here. What would we add? What could we do to accentuate this? Now, I love the look we have already. First thing I would say would be a vertical librette. Now, as you can see, adding that third little bead right there in the bottom with one coming up top, it looks really, really cool. That would be probably my number one suggestion. But as far as other piercings go, high nostrils. Get away, bring them all the way up there as high as possible. Not going to the bone, of course, but high nostrils would also look really good. And then if we're going on the outside of the mouth, dahlia piercings. A couple dahlias, yeah. Now, what I would ultimately pick would be the vertical labrette. And that's it, just a vertical bread. Your look is really awesome. Now, let's take a look at Mars here. Now, a tragus piercing and a stretched lobe. And I can tell you right now that lobe is on its way to being pretty big, pretty cool. Now, the other part that is sticking out to me is this anti-tragus. To me, it's screaming, wants to be pierced. As you can see, another little barbell kind of angle that way right next to this other one. They work so well together. And another fun one would be the snug. Now you can see how this has a tight little curve there. I would kind of angle this one a little bit down so the bead would be there and kind of angle it, you know, kind of a little angle there to kind of follow. Super, super fun look. And of course, well not of course, but we have the flat area. Plenty of room for a flat piercing. Maybe even an industrial. I'm not sure if there's enough of a ridge here to actually do the full-on industrial. But if you didn't, we could always do the floating industrial where you do a piercing here, a piercing here, and just kind of connect the bar across. So the beads actually come out in the back of the ear. The rook is fantastic. You can see a rook piercing. And of course, plenty more room for another lobe piercing or even a few more Helix is up the air. Now, what would I pick? I definitely love that anti-tragus. And I'd also love the rook. See how it kind of creates that triangle? What a really fun thing to do. And before we get to Tracy, the last person on our list, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Now, Tracy has a nostril piercing and not much else that I can see other than the earlobes. She did mention she is interested in the doth, but we'll get to that in a second. Now, what would I add to her face? Immediately, I want to do the gestrum. I can see how she has a slightly pouty upper lip, so therefore, that curved barbell right in the center of her lip is definitely one thing I would want to do. Another good possibility would be a bridge piercing. You can see a bridge piercing there, and also see an Ashley. I 
doing a lot of the Ashleys lately where it's just right in the center of the lip. Not the normal librette, a little lower, but right through the center so that way it's just fully featured and brings all the tension right to your lips. And another fun thing we could do here would definitely be eyebrows. Um, the curvature of your eyebrow allows for the surface bar on the top to sit perfectly and give a real pleasant look. Now, as far as my favorite piercings, I'd want to do the gestrum and a bridge. And finally, moving on to Tracy's ear. Now, Tracy did mention a doth. I don't see a lot really protruding here, but that doesn't mean she can't get it pierced. As long as you can get that ring inside there, it looks like it's still actually pretty pierceable. So doth piercing is definitely a possibility. And I could also see more helix piercings. Maybe add one below it, maybe two more below it like so. We could also do a fun bar going across there. Not a bar, but a second, like a flat piercing and also an inner helix piercing like so. So it kind of replicates where the industrial bar would go, but having those three gems going across, another fun look. The rook is definitely pierceable. You can see how we put a little curved barbell in there. And forward helixes. You could probably fit one, two, I think we could fit all three up there if you want to do a triple forward helix. We could do a conch piercing, heal it up with a nice ring going around the ear. Beautiful, classy look. Now, my ultimate picks, I would love to do a conch piercing and those two other helix piercings creating that bar going across the top of the ear. When all that winds it up today, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see you all in the next video.